Hello, I'm doing another mukbang. This is going to be like my fifth one so far. I did, I'm not going to show what I made. Like, I'm not going to show me making it because I'm thinking about doing that, but this time it's just going to be food. What I have here, because you can't see it because I'm poor and don't have any lighting set up, that is beef ramen. And what I did was I took a can of tuna, drained it, and a medium, like a small onion, sorry about that big round, chopped it up and I heat and I let them sear in a pan and then I put it in beef ramen. Oh, that sounds gross, but this is what I'm going to be eating, so it doesn't taste bad. Like I know it sounds, it sounds gross, but it doesn't taste horrible. So like sit down and like eat with me and like, sorry about the camera thingy. I'm not like a cinematography genius or anything, so hopefully. And I have my Pepsi, which I don't normally drink soda even, but I woke up and my mouth was so dry. I was like, oh my god. Since my mouth is dry, I have an excuse to drink something on ice. And since I've been drinking water a lot lately, I'm going to drink some Pepsi on ice. That's what I have in there. And I am counting my calories, and I have. It is like, it's actually just turned 12 a.m. But this will be using my remaining calories from yesterday. Today is the 30th. Um, yeah, but this meal is going to be using my remaining calories. I have to move my shit today, and I have to. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Um, yesterday I wanted to, and I'm sorry that you can't see me. Hold on. Yesterday I wanted to, but everyone just was busy and forgot about me. <laughs> that was gonna help. So that's that's what happened. Cause I'm disposable in their minds. How did I almost just write 2015? I don't want it to be that year. Oh. Um, one of my dieting tips that I figured out that most chocolate bars, like the big, whether it's Hershey's or a knockoff, like a cheap dollar store brand, usually a square of that chocolate, one of those squares, it's like this, because that is shaped square on my end. Let's see. About that big of a square is 27 to 35 calories. Um... And you can easily calculate it by counting the amount of calories in the bar, at, you know, based on the servings, because sometimes it'll be a big bar of chocolate and it'll say like, oh, two and a half servings, and you look at how many servings and you look at how many calories are in there, and you're like, oh, well, two times two, and you just add it up and then you divide it by how many squares you count on the bar. Even if that doesn't feel entirely right when you add it up, Look at it this way. Better to have, like, assumed it was more. Like, if it sounds like too much per square. Better to assume that it's too much than to not account for the amount of actual calories in it and be wrong and be dooming yourself. The onions are a little crispy still. Normally I pan sear them until... Until the tune is a little brownish black. Um, it gets brown, but it's not burnt. And the onions get brown, but they're not burnt either. I find that a lot of people mukbang and they eat like massive portions of food. And they don't talk about uh, how to. There's no one that does a mukbang in a healthy way, I guess. And I think that even though I'm fat, I want this, as I've said before, if you've watched one of my mukbangs, that I want it to be an eating show. And yes, I prefer chicken ramen to beef ramen, but both work with this recipe. It also good if you put like 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 for years I never thought of putting anything in my ramen besides oh a fucking flavor packet
But guys, if you melt some mozzarella cheese over that, put some sriracha in it. It's amazing. I have all my shit packed and it's over on this side of me. It is really dark in here. And it is really, you know, if I stop and think about it too much, I get spooked, but... You gotta realize that today I'm gonna be out of here, so I'm dealing with it. You know? And yeah, I hate these glasses, but as I said in my other video where I ranted, I'm going back to Walmart and letting them know they're wrong. And I figured out I'm going to say it in a really calm way because being angry and rude is only going to get me escorted out of the store. I got pretty much all of my anger and my instantaneous fuming rage out in that video. If you watch me in one of my rant videos where I'm really fucking lit and I'm really fucking pissed off, I just want you to know that I'm not like that in person. No matter how mad I am about that topic, if we talk about, if, if I ever meet any one of the people that watch me and I talk to you in person about that, I'm not going to scream at you, even if your opinion differs from mine. I'm just going to give you my opinion and... You can take it or leave it. It's not my, it's not my job, to sit there and say, "Oh, you have to listen to me." Um, this video, like these videos, and my channel as a whole, was not meant to be like the be-all, end-all, like opinions and information. I mainly want to make people laugh and talk about my experiences and things that piss me off at the same time. I get the benefit of I need to stop taking such big bites of noodles. I get the benefit of relieving my mind of the topic by venting my frustrations. You get the benefit of laughing at a fat bitch get angry. Do not come to my aid and say, Jess, you're not fat. I know I'm fat. Honestly, I've been an unhealthy weight my entire life, since I can remember. And that's why I'm honestly trying. I don't, I don't care if it takes me till... <clears throat> well into next year to lose the weight that I need to. Because I want to do it in a way that's gradual, that doesn't shed my body into a shock, or... Because if you... If you lose weight too quickly, your body will go into a form of shock, because your body's like, wait, what's happening? And then eventually your body goes, wait a minute, something's going on here. Um... Your body will... A lot of the times, if you cut off calories too quickly, at too many, too much of a level, your body will go into what's known as starvation mode or calorie com conversion. Con sort of like it'll save your food and make fat deposits. So not only are you getting fat that you don't need, probably, but you're restricting the calories so that any like, if your body takes something and takes nutrients from it, but takes a minimal amount of nutrients from it, and turns the rest of it into fat for storage, you're technically not getting all the nutrients either. But I'm not a doctor, and I'm not a scientist, and I don't know how all that shit works. I will be doing a video of when I finally get to my parents' house. Probably making something more nutritious than this. Um, I want to do a video of my room after it's all fixed up and cleaned and shit. I'm getting a futon to sleep on because I had a mattress, but 
we had suspicions that there were either fleas in it or bed bugs. And the thing is, when I lived with my parents, we had bat bugs. And some people aren't even aware of what the fuck those are. So I'm going to tell you what they are. They look a lot like bed bugs. And you can look it up online if you don't believe me they're a thing. And what it is is... There are bats in the attic, which is right above where my room is at my parents' house. And I knew these were bat bugs because they didn't inherently come from the floor. They didn't. They weren't on the walls, and they weren't inherently on the mattress. They weren't on the mattress until I saw them on the ceiling first. A.K.A. coming out of the attic. And the ones that I found on my mattress after it was over here were... Wider, thinner, slightly different color. But if you look up uh, the comparisons online, they're very similar bugs. I believe that I was getting bit by fleas and not those, but I really don't know. And I haven't been getting bit as much. I haven't seen any of those while I've been sleeping on this couch here. Um, it doesn't cause me back problems or anything. I just, I'm just not taking it with me. Um, The reason I'm moving is because I can't afford this place on my own, and I wouldn't want to anyway. It's not even because of the suspicion of an infestation. It's because the landlord, and I'm not going to mention names, I'm not going to try and slander this individual because... Who know? There could be very, very good reasons. I don't believe there are, but there could be very good reasons as to why these things happen. He doesn't fix things about the apartment that need fixed desperately. In Pennsylvania, it gets really cold in the winter. It gets really fucking cold. There's places that get much colder. I'm not going to sit there and debate that. But my cousin... Uh, was living here with her boyfriend for like two years, two and a half years. She invited me to move in with her, purely out of kindness. And I think she was trying to give him a chance to insulate things, fix the heaters, things like that. But he's had so many opportunities to fix these things, the landlord that is, that... Not to mention that, but there's a lot of other things in this apartment that need fixed. There's floorboards that need fixed. There's outlets that don't work that were clearly... They clearly don't work because they were blown. Like, there's an outlet right beside me over here. There's a top one and a bottom one. You can only use the bottom one, I believe it is. I forget which one that my power bar's plugged into. Um, the bottom one's fine. The top one, however, does not work, and it's got black patches around the sockets. Now, when I first got here, I didn't have all my stuff with me, so I was like, oh, can I plug my laptop into this? And and I asked my cousin, I was like, oh, is it going to, you know, blow out or something? And she's like, no, but I think only one of those outlets works. And um, I plugged it into the first one, and my laptop wouldn't even charge. So I plugged in the second one, and that one worked. So that's the one I have my power bar plugged into right now. I'm not saying that he won't fix these things after he discovers that her and I are gone. But the likelihood of it happening is very small and very slim. And as I said, I don't know. Maybe he's just taking the time and fixing all of the places that he rents out. Because he doesn't just rent this place out. So maybe he's like accumulating the resources and the funds to fix everything that's wrong with every apartment or whatever he runs out. I don't know. That's why I'm not saying the person's name. Also because it, to me it's not worth getting into legal trouble. Even if they do see this video, they're going to be like, wait a minute. But then, you know, they can't prove I'm talking about them. So... After that long one discussion. Some of you are still sitting there thinking, Jess, that's gross. How are you going to sit there and tell me you're eating tuna and onions and fucking beef flavored ramen? Because 
it tastes good to me. You're also looking at someone who eats liver and onions and enjoys it. And I'm so hungry for that. You have no fucking idea. I eat salmon out of the can. Um, I sit there and pick apart the bones and all that, and I eat the salmon out of the can. Um, you know when you get a chicken thigh and where like that little area is, that little like kidney or whatever it is, some people are like, oh, you shouldn't eat that. I eat that. I like how it tastes. Plus it's a little tiny thing like this. But I do not eat gizzards. I do not eat like that. You know the shit that comes in the... I eat certain things that are in that little bag inside of a turkey. But I don't eat the gizzard. I don't eat the heart. Anything chewy, I will not eat. Basically. But yeah, I really need to move out today. Another thing about my upload schedule, when I move out, the videos are going to be in a different setting, in a different background, probably better lighting, probably better whatever.